a good friend of mine has got a very very special young daughter and she saw on YouTube uh, somebody making a fairy light uh, night lamp with resin he asked me if I can do something similar to that so I interrogated him a little bit and I discovered she likes um, Cinderella and she likes purple and I said yeah well, let me try and do something like that let me see where do I go but whoa 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 whoa, whoa. let me show you I'm ahead of myself let me show how did I get to this stage on my lamp hi welcome back Aaron here so first I'm going to do a mold um, I'm using a I think it's called Patti Plastilina or something. I bought um, a figurine and I'm making a silicone mold. So first of all I'm putting the putty and I'm pushing inside the, the figurine and I'm making the first part of the mold because it's going to be a two-part mold and in, in two colors you will see I'm using two colors so it will be easier to um, find where is the where is the joint. And after I took out the, the putty, I'm putting the second uh, lot of uh, silicone on top of it, and now I'm having a mold. The hole that you see on the side is only guide guides, so it will keep the, um, the mold in center. I'm putting through electrical wire connected to um, LEDs, 12 volt LEDs, and um, closing the mold. And now I'm going to pour um, resin in um, in a purple color, and I'll let it 24 hours to set. This is my first step. Step one is finished. I hope. I'm going to check it now and I'm taking out the figurine um, with the LEDs inside. I'm going to check it if, if it works and if it hasn't been damaged in, in, the, um, uh, in the molding. No, it works. For this project I'm using a piece of Paduk that I tried to do another project before and it, it didn't work for me. So instead of throwing it away I'm going to use this one. Uh, for this project. I'm creating the base for the figurine to sit on. Uh, don't forget of course to subscribe to my channel and to like my channel and to put some comments if you like it or if you don't like it. It's the first time that I'm doing uh, something like that, a, a lamp or a light or something like that. So tell me if you like it, tell me if you like that I'm adding it to my portfolio. Some of the comments that I'm getting is that some of them saying it's too quiet in my videos. I don't have music and I don't have the sound of the lathe and I don't have... And some people telling me that they're happy that I don't have uh, music. So help me here please. Let me know if you think that uh, it will help to put some music or... Because uh, music is something that ever, some people like this type of music, some people don't like this type of music. Or it's better to give a little bit of more sound of the lathe or uh, for me to be quiet and keep quiet. And that will be the container of the vessel where we're going to put the, um, the resin in um, after we put inside the figurine. I wanted the PVC pipe to be tight tight. And then I'm going to put, of course, um, hot gun glue to seal it. But I wanted him to be very tight, so it's, there is no chance that it's going to leak. Because I can't afford uh, for resin to leak on this one. I've done my uh, calculation of the volume. Um, you know, the normal calculation, height, radius, uh, pi. And man, I made a mistake over here. I'm so upset, I made a mistake. It's like half of it. I reduced the amount of the figurine, but it's half. I actually can see my uh, med teacher standing over there laughing. I told you so, I told you so. I actually had to double the amount of resin. And that's created a problem because now it's too much resin and it's going to get hot. After a day, I just added a little bit of uh, silver on top. 
um, with a um, maybe not maybe not this way it will be black no maybe not so I added some silver on top um, with um, very fine silver and I hope that um, it didn't sink to the bottom I put some alcohol on the on the hot gun glue and then uh, I think it's much safer this way because I would cut, I would definitely will cut myself with a knife. Now you can see the silver and I can see the silver but I can also see a crack. Actually not one crack, I can see three cracks. That was what I was afraid of. I was really afraid that it will crack because of the heat was too much resin. Let's see what will how, how I'm going to get out of it. If it's going to be good, all right. If not, then it looks like I'll have to do another one. No, this crack is deep, like really, really deep. It's like the Great Canyon, I'm telling you. We'll have to put some resin inside and see if I can still save it. I'm just creating a barrier around the, the, the crack so I can fill it up and it's not, it's not going to run all over the show. Maybe it's safer not to do it with the knife. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting afraid of this knife now. Sounds funny. I wanted to create the shape of this lamp. I don't know if you remember in the old days they used to have like in a starchy and hard shirt they used to have like this light that they used to put on the roof of the of the um, of the police van or the police uh, car it was a big thing that they put with magnets. I wanted it to look like that. Why? I don't know. I just like this the shape. I'll smooth it as much as possible with, with the carbine uh, tools and then I'll, uh, I'll use uh, sandpaper from 120 all the way to 600 um, for the first stage and then the second stage I will, um, I will use pads, uh, water pads all the way to microfine. I found that there is a small piece of hot gun glue on the wood and I decided to remove it with, um, with the tools than to use uh, a knife. Uh, it, it will look smoother. I uh, really will help and I really appreciate it if you guys are going to make some remarks about my work, um, my style of work, whatever, uh, my, my type of work, whatever you want, um, good or bad, I will appreciate both of them. There is two types of system how to make a channel see-through. One of them is to... Um, on top at this stage 
to dry it up and to put uh, on top of it some more resin and it will make it see through clear 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 and the other the other system is just to polish it all the way with um, with the cream so it will be right see through I prefer to polish it right through and with the cream at this stage I can see the cracks properly because now you can see through oh my oh my I cannot believe it they are so beautiful. The cracks got filled up with the resin that I put last with the sparklings and with the silver and the gold. And it went inside the resin and it looks like a halo around the figurine or like wings around the figurine. It's really unbelievable. It's not by design. It's actually by mistake. It is amazing. You're just going to see a glimpse now. Unbelievable. What do you think? Tell me, what do you think? Just a mistake that turned out nicely. Just a mistake. I'm putting in the back of the, of the wood, I'm, I'm putting the female connector and I drilled a hole so uh, it will go, be able to go through um, the, the male. I didn't want to just cut the wood and allow that to, to run underneath it. I wanted to be able to remove it and take it somewhere else and connect it back again. You can see how it sits in the in, in the wood. And you will see just now how I connect how I connect the mail to it, and and it it's, it also makes it quite neat. It's not like uh, afterthought. Uh, just let's cut a slit and put the wire underneath it. Don't go away yet. Wait, wait, wait. I put some amazing photos of this thing in the light, in the sun, in the dark to see how it looks like. Unbelievable. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to uh, um, put some remarks and comments at the bottom and like it and wait to see in the end the photos of this thing outside in the dark and in the light. Unbelievable. Believable. Thank you very much for watching my channel and I'll see you in the next one.